Hello everybody, today I'm with my friend Leonora. Hello. She will help me to show you the top five of the most beautiful osteopathic and chiropractic techniques. Let's watch together. I would like to start with the fifth, fifth <laughs> position. So uh, this is the scapula thoracic technique. Please lie on your back. This is a very difficult and beautiful technique, one of my favorite, because we need to work on this area. So collarbone, we have scapula right here and the ribs cage. So we are here on the vertebra and here on the ribs cage. Let's see how to prepare this technique. I have this contact with my thumb and index and I contact here the axilla with the collarbone. Then I need to prepare a soft fist. You can see this is a really soft soft position under the you can see here we have the limit of the scapula so I'm right here on the ribs okay now relax this is the contact okay take a breath exhale this is the technique I really like that because uh, I can choose if I prefer to approach the collarbone the scapula and the ribs and depending of my vector I can choose uh, which side I prefer which would be more useful for the patient. Now go on with the third place. Um, please sit on the side and this is the technique for the first swing. So we are right here. You can show this bear, you can show this triangle right here between the collarbone and the trapezius right here. And inside we have the first rib deep inside right here. So I need to reach the first rib with a difficult contact because I'm between the thumb and the index. I need to relax the patient, so trust me, just relax. Okay, I use the leg to open the joint and then I need to contact right here the rib. It's a difficult technique because I need to lower the coach as much as possible because it has to be comfortable for the patient and also for the even for the practitioner. Okay, right here. The vector is very important. Generally we run the technique when we stay like that, so we lower the, the arm. And in this case I need to respect the vector. So I go inside. There is no rotation of the head because if we apply a rotation of the head generally we involve uh, the vertebra, so we will uh, hear a crack. This is not a crack, this is uh, something like a, like a click, because we go inside the, the, the rib. So, just relax, perfect, good, the vector, okay, and apply the technique. I really like this one because uh, I need to care about uh, so many parameters. So it's not just a, a global crack, but I need to focus uh, on many different parameters. This is one of my favorite. You need to lie on uh, your side, so on this side. Okay, now change. Yes, on this side, a little more. Perfect. It's very difficult to approach this technique because we are on side and I need to work on the first, second, third and fourth vertebra, dorsal vertebra. So I'm right here. I need to choose the one that has the dysfunction. In this case I will approach this one. Okay, I can use my chest to open a little. Yes, no, don't worry, just uh, be comfortable. Yes. And generally, we used to do just this kind of uh, movement. 
but it's uh, it's wrong because there are more parameters to involve in this case in this case I need to include this uh, kind of uh, parameters I will try to show you this is the contact with the vertebra and then I will apply a bending so you can see there is a side bending and then a derotation of the head and uh, the most difficult parameter is an extension of the cervical spine and this is very dangerous because uh, the extension parameter generally is forbidden uh, or it's uh, not allowed to to practice so just relax perfect now let's go first parameter is flexion now the rotation I apply the yes relax 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 good are you okay yes maybe still alive <laughs> no I'm okay. alive <laughs> and this, uh, this is uh, the third place so let's go on uh, the second place so this is one of the most important uh, techniques of our rankings so please uh, you need to change the position so lie on uh, your stomach okay. yes because uh, I will perform for you the Sphinx technique lying on the stomach. This is very difficult, dangerous, but it's one of the most beautiful techniques because uh, it's uh, really full of uh, style techniques. So this is the starting position. So we need to lie on, the, yes, you need just to lean on your elbows, you lie on your stomach, and now I will approach, uh, you can come here, uh, Bea, I need to approach uh, the dorsal vertebra, so I'm right here. I will choose, uh, as always, the Eddings function, in this case I have this vertebra stocked right here. So it's uh, really uncommon technique because in this case I'm not uh, pushing the vertebra but I'm hooking, so it's just uh, a hook to grab the vertebra right there. Now you drop your head, lascia la cadere la testa, ma rimani sui gomiti. Brava, so lean on your elbows, but drop your head. It's difficult because the patient needs to uh, help me, so I need a full collaboration because she needs to fix the posture, but drop the head, it's not easy. In this case, as I told you, is a hook on the vertebra, you just need to relax, perfect, drop your head, okay, and what, why it's so difficult this technique, because I need to apply a full rotation of the head, and this is very dangerous, and this uh, movement is linked with the extension, another very dangerous parameter, so the uh, combination of these two parameters, uh, it's not easy, little dangerous, but uh, I think, uh, relax, perfect, don't help me, relax, good, perfect, don't worry, don't worry, relax, yes, but uh, I think it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> we arrived to the first place, so let's see my favorite technique. You can sit on the side. Yeah. I think you have seen me and watched me performing this kind of technique so many times because uh, I use a lot with my patients and uh, I started to use uh, almost uh, 15, years ago, 15 years ago, yes, a long time ago. I need uh, to stabilize a little the patient like this so you can lean back, okay, and I need to search for the this function so I just uh, touch all the transverse process and this technique you can come here uh, Ben this technique in my opinion uh, is the most beautiful because there are so many parameters generally the wrong way is just to approach uh, moving the passion like this uh, so okay. not, it's not uh, a <laughs> gentle way to treat the patient uh, or uh, generally we don't respect the uh, parameter, so we just uh, apply a 
some rotation or, or too much rotation so we overcome the, the range, the physiological range of the joint and uh, we apply some flexion or extension that in this case is absolutely uh, a forbidden parameter so it's not allowed to apply this flexion on the head because it's very dangerous for the spinal cord so I will try to perform this technique uh, as much uh, as possible on the best way so let me create the cervical I will show you the parameters so respect the physiological flexion and extension of the head and now contact with the transverse process of the vertebra so the lateral side the lateral body of the vertebra now it's very important to fix the the vertebra right here and I don't need to exaggerate in this case the rotation so just try to apply a very comfortable side bending is this kind of lateral flexion so relax the cheekbone is very important to keep safe uh, the patient I go on the bending little rotation yes relax good now I will show you on the other side too same way relax good more relax perfect oh. ah, good <laughs> always there is no pain just a little no oh, no no here are you okay yes okay this was my favorite technique uh, what's your favorite technique, uh, Leonora? Maybe this one. This one? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have the same. Uh, the same, yeah. Yes, ah. preference. Now, please uh, let me know in the comments uh, which one was your uh, and which one is your favorite technique. Uh, and also, if you would like to watch uh, all your techniques or more techniques, you can also write on the comments. Uh. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Ciao a tutti.